did I say? We're going to TK Maxx. I'm so excited. I just get lost in the world of Kmart when I'm in there. Hello, hello. How are you all doing? Let me know in the comments down below. Welcome back to our channel. And if you haven't been here before, my name is Zisha. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending the day with me. Now, today I am out and about. I've actually dropped Bronson off at work. So I have wheels to get around because a lot of you will know Bronson and I share a vehicle. And when I am at home, like working from home, he just takes the car and I'm just at home all day. But I thought I would treat myself today, go out for a bit of a girls shopping day, time by myself. And uh, that's a Vodafone texting me. I've just topped up my phone because I'm such a stingy person when it comes to my phone. I only ever do prepay. And if it runs, like I get a $30 like monthly or $28 plan and it's prepay. But as soon as that runs out, I like delay it as much as possible before topping it up again. So the last two to three weeks, I've had no credit, no data, no nothing because I don't really have a need for it. But because I'm out on my own today and like driving around to a few different shops, I thought I would treat myself. I treat myself to a bit of credit. So if something happens, I've got money on my phone, first of all. And second of all, like it's just great for like, you know, Google Maps and what have you. Um, oh, they just said that they gave me a bonus. This is the thing. They entice me. They give me extra credit because I delay my top up. Then they like send me messages. If you top up before this date, you get an extra $15. And because I did top up before that date that they said, they've just given me an extra $15. So if you're on Vodafone, take that as a tip, people. Take that as a tip. Um, all right. So the TK Maxx that I am outside of opens at 9 and it is 8.15. 52 right now. Did I say we're going to TK Maxx? I'm so excited. I've never been to this TK Maxx before either, so I'm excited to see like the layout and stuff. Is that normal? Probably not. In my books, it is normal. Um, and yeah, I'm just waiting because I didn't want to drive in peak hour traffic. So I've been sitting here for the last 10 minutes or so, just topping up my phone. Um, this is right near where I've dropped Bronson off. He's got a breakfast, a work breakfast this morning. So I didn't actually drop him at his office. I dropped him at his work breakfast. And then lo and behold, when we were driving, I saw the massive TK Maxx sign and I was like, perfect. I can just pull into that car park and wait for it to open. And then by the time I look around in the air, peak hour traffic will be long gone. And I really today, really, really, really would love to treat myself to a Starbucks. I also want to look around to Kmart. I've just got to decide what Kmart I want to go to because I really like the Oxenford one, but I never go there because it's like quite out of my way. But now that I am kind of up this end of the coast, I might actually go to the Oxenford one. But I'm going to wait for TK Maxx to open their doors and then we're going to go for a bit of a mooch around. I am so excited and uh, yeah. Just a me day out, shopping day out, and I don't know if I'll buy anything or what will happen, but I am also just want to have a browse and yeah, go from there, see what happens. just on my way back to the car guys and I only brought one thing I tried on lots of clothes but nothing was just wow they were all just a bit meh so 
The plan is now to go to Starbucks. I am going to Google where the nearest Starbucks is because literally I have no idea. I'll show you what I brought as well. I'll just hop into the car and get set. Now I was actually worried the car was going to be so warm because I didn't put the sunroof cover on or our windowsill cover but it's actually not so bad in here so I'm lucky in that regard. So the grand total that I spent was $24.99. Such a big spender. My $24 went towards this back stretcher. So it has three different levels of stretching your back. Um, obviously we're all guilty for hunching all day long, right? So this is designed to like help stretch your back the opposite way and you know, help your back in that way. So I hope that that is going to be quite good. Um, and all of the outfits that I tried on, I tried on so many, there was no wow factors. And to be honest, I just tried them on for a bit of fun anyway, because I enjoy trying clothes on, but I have so many clothes in my wardrobe as it is. And it would have to be like, wow, 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 for me to purchase it. And I tried on this red jumpsuit just for a bit of fun. I thought that it was very Harley Quinn movie world-esque. You could get some really cute photos and movie world in that outfit, but it was $60. So just for like a fun dress up outfit, way too expensive. Now I need to find my phone so I can Google where, oh my God, it's like 10.20. I was in there for over an hour. Um, I need to Google where Starbucks is. Nearest Starbucks. No. There's no way that Surface Paradise is the nearest, surely. I can't believe there's no Starbucks up here. I literally just might have to get a Zarafas. Drive to Oxenford, nice big Kmart, and get a Zarafas. But I feel like that will be a letdown. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm going to put some thought into what I want to do next. I just thought there would be a Starbucks up this end of the coast, but there's not. <sighs> the one thing that I wanted to do. Okay, I haven't moved. I'm still in the same spot. I haven't driven away yet. I think what I'm going to do, so the closest Starbucks is actually the Starbucks near our house, which is a 20 minute drive. Whereas the Kmart that I want to go to is a 10 minute drive from where I am. So I might do a McDonald's on the way to Kmart. I think that will be better. I mean, I'm really craving a toasty pie from Starbucks, like really, really. But at the same time, I really want to go to the Kmart that I don't usually get to go to. So compromises people compromises let's hit the macca's drive through and i'm just hoping i'm pretty sure you can get breakfast all day now right i think you can i hope anyway let's find out hi what can i get for you hi there can i please get a bacon and egg mcmuffin combo no problem what drink we have to for that one orange juice please yeah what size uh large thank you bacon and egg with a large okay yeah that's everything, thanks. No problem, job and day. Thank you. Ten dollars, ten cents, just on card? Yes, please, that would be great. No worries. Ten dollars, ten cents, just on card. Have a good day. You too, thank you. Good thanks, how are you going? Good, thank you. Thanks so much. Have a good day. You too, bye bye. Guys, got the goods. They do still do breakfast during like after 10. Do ever do any of you remember like in the old days you couldn't get breakfast after 10? Or before was it 6 a.m. or 5 a.m.? I can't even remember, but I, I know like when we, like when I used to go out like as a teenager, not a teenager, well, yeah, I guess 18 plus, 
um, one time we waited until McDonald's like clicked over to the, the breakfast menu so we could get breakfast. We stayed out that whole time just so we could do that. But those days are gone because you can just get breakfast any old time now. I got a large orange juice and a bacon and egg McMuffin and I am excited to eat this. Although it's not quite the Starbucks I was hoping for. I'll do that on the weekend with Bronson as I said. So I'm still looking forward to munching on the Maccas. Guys, we are on our way to Kmart Oxenford. I am so happy with my decision to not drive back like onto the motorway during peak hour traffic because this traffic currently is a dream and I don't know the roads that well up this end of the coast uh, because yeah, I'm not that good at knowing because we don't live up this end of the coast. Um, <laughs> and especially when it's such heavy traffic, which it usually is, peak hour when I either drop Bronson off or pick him up, I'm always so stressed. But no, this is the absolute dream. And I've just realized that I've got the aircon on, so I'm sorry if that is really loud in the audio. Uh, I have to have it on because it's quite warm. And I've got my heated seat on at the same time bit of a luxury <laughs> it's hot so I have the aircon on but I've got back pain so I have my heated seat on and that is why I love this car not gonna lie guys I've done some damage but for a full look at exactly what I got I'm definitely gonna save all of this for a Kmart to come shop with me so definitely hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and you'll be able to check that out very very soon but I'm gonna load this into the car and then I'm going straight home no more spending money for me I must say I absolutely love this little spot for the camera I haven't done much solo vlogging since we got this car. It's usually Bronson and I together and the passenger usually holds the vlog camera. But this is such a good setup. Although it can't be like this while I'm driving because it will definitely fall over. But yes, beautiful day. I actually need to check what the time was because I think I was in Kmart for a very, very long time. It is one o'clock. <laughs> oh my God. God, that even surprises me. I am so shocked that it is one o'clock. Seriously, I just get lost in the world of Kmart when I'm in there. Like, it's like a casino for me. There's no windows to show you how much time is passing. And I literally just, it just bamboozles me. And then I end up spending ages. Now I must say as well, I'm so annoyed. This. Kmart have their version for $10 and I paid $24.99 for this. Um, the difference is though, this has special acupuncture trigger points, which the one at Kmart didn't have. The one at Kmart was just flat. Flat? Yeah, flat without the little divots on it. And I figured the little divots are probably quite good. Are they worth the extra $15 though? I am not sure, but maybe I can investigate. I might even be able to return this to TK Maxx and get that $10 one because $15 difference is huge. I've just never seen them at Kmart before. I guess because usually all of their fitness gears are sold out. Um, but anyway, I am like literally sweating. I've got to turn the aircon on, that is for sure. And I'm very pale today. I don't really feel myself when I'm not tan. 
obviously I fake tan most times but my skin oh my lord needed a break especially under my armpits oh my god it was getting next level ridiculous so I've given myself two weeks tan free then exfoliating moisturizing twice daily to try and get my skin not so dry and like build up of fake tan so especially before coming into the warmer months it just needed to set back to zero and start afresh but I never feel like myself when I look like this honestly but anyway I'm gonna turn the air on turn the music on and I'm gonna get Siri to take me home okay guys I'm actually taking a slight detour something has enticed me even more and I was driving past movie world and I just thought why the heck not why not just stop off at movie world and get a nice cold beverage people watch see what's going on at movie world today it's quite fun just like as a solo task obviously Bronson and I usually go together but I do enjoy wandering the theme parks by myself as well so I thought I would just walk around there get a nice cold drink I'll probably get like a slushy or something like that and just yeah enjoy the beautiful weather and the luxury of having a uh, pass to get into movie world for free <laughs> oh I'm entering the gates oh Siri's not gonna be happy Siri we're going somewhere else girlfriend we're going somewhere else we're gonna have to cancel your cancel your directions Right to merge onto <gasps> She's like, Zisha, what are you doing? You're going the wrong way. That's because we're going to movie world now, Siri. We're going to go get a nice cold drink and stroll around the park. How does that sound? <laughs> this works out really well for me anyway because I actually need to go to the bathroom. So that'll be the first stop once we're in. I'm lucky as well, sneak peek on the Kmart goodies. I had my big handbag with me, but because I picked this up at Kmart, I've actually just transferred all my important items into this, so I don't have to carry my massive bag around the park. And I've also put some sunscreen on, considering I am glowing white. No doubt the sun will just stick to me like nothing else, and I could very easily get sunburned. So I have put some sunscreen on. I've locked the car. I've got the keys. Let's do this. Okay, just back in the car. That was really nice just to get some sunshine and walk around the park. I haven't been in quite a while. Well, actually, since the last time Bronson and I filmed a video, if you didn't see that one, I'll link it in the iCard above. And we'll go into Movie World in a lot more depth than what I have done today. They were playing extremely recognizable music in the park today. Usually they just have like atmosphere music that isn't copyright, but the things they were playing today would 100% be copyright. So I couldn't like really talk in, in any sense of the form because the music was so loud. Um, but not too much happening. Obviously it's like a Tuesday, so it's not a, a crazy theme park day for, for people because most people are at school or work. But Siri's going to be happy because we are going home. I better actually plug my phone in so we have Siri's help. Mind you, do I need Siri to go home? No. I know how to get home from here. I'm fine. I'll plug the phone in anyway, but I won't need to, I won't need to maps it because... I'm in my own neck of the woods again. I know how to get home from movie world. <laughs> I don't need a robot to tell me. All right, let's get home. I'm excited to go home. I did call Bronson. It's two o'clock now, so I wasn't at movie world for very long at all. Um, just really to have a drink, as I said, do a bit of a walk around. Um, I did call Bronson to see if he wanted to be picked up early, but no can do. He's got work meetings this afternoon. So I'm just gonna have to go home and go and pick him up in a couple of hours. My hair is definitely looking a bit gray. I'm just home and I've cracked straight in to this back system. 
I should have turned the camera on sooner because I have already given it a go, but I've just unpackaged it. There's not many instructions at all, which is great. And I did lay on it for the first time. I've just got it on the beginner setting, but you can arch it more if you move it along. And it's got this rubber piece here, which is actually quite nice. At first, it feels very weird, but like after you actually just relax on it for a little while, it does feel quite nice. So I am happy with that purchase, but as I said, I'm annoyed that Kmart has it for $10 and I paid $24.99 for it. But anyway, that's just what it is. I'm actually going to do a workout before I have to go and pick up Bronson from work. I'm going to change into my workout gears, just do an at-home workout. Or oh, I could go to the gym. I think I'm going to cancel my gym membership because I just never go. Like, in, like when I lived in Dunedin, I liked the gym I went to. I went a lot. When we lived in Melbourne, I liked the gym I went to. I went a lot. Here on the Gold Coast, I tried. So, okay, in Melbourne, we were with Good Life. And Good Life is also on the Gold Coast. And our memberships mean that we can just go anywhere in Australia. So we didn't have to change our membership or anything. We could just start going to Good Life's here on the coast. But the Good Life's here just don't float my boat. Like, the closest one to us is always so busy. It's ridiculous. So both Bronson and I actually cancelled our memberships for that Good Life. Because... We hated going, and because we hated going, we didn't often go, but then any time we made the effort to go, like, it was so busy, and you couldn't do what you wanted. So, yeah, we just cancelled it. There was no point. And then I signed up for a woman's only gym right near my work, figuring that that would be quite a good solution. I did go consistently for a while, but... It just ended up not working out because I had to lug all of my gym gear to work with me. And it was just a nightmare and like having to shower there before work and do my makeup there, do my hair there and like just literally take virtually an overnight bag just to go to the gym and then go to work straight after was also a nightmare. It was just too difficult. So a Jets opened up right near us and we're like, yes, yeah, perfect. And Jets is the gym I used to go to when I was in Dunedin. And I loved going there. I loved going to the Jets. But I don't know, I'm just not in a rhythm for this gym. In the summertime I was, and I know in winter it's always harder. And then I'm wondering, do I just cancel this gym membership as well and not have a gym membership and just commit to workouts at home? Because I'm not going anyway. I'm just wasting my money. I don't know, it's a hard one. I could go to the gym now because I actually do have the car today. Um, I'm gonna decide. I'm not sure yet, leave it with me. So I figured I'm not gonna go to the gym. I actually don't even have time now. It is 3.24 and I need to probably leave here at four o'clock to pick Bronson up at 4.30. So that doesn't mean I don't need to work out. I've still got time to work out. It's just I don't have time to drive to the gym to work out, but I've still got half an hour now to do my at-home workouts, which I have actually really been enjoying. And that's why I'm thinking, huh, I think it's time to cancel that gym membership. But uh, yes, workout time. It has been ages since I've picked up the camera. So I did my workout and literally raced out the door to get Bronson. I would love to know what the time is, but I don't have a phone near me. What's the time, honey? It's 7.42, it has been a big old day. So yeah, we enjoyed our two for one chicken palmies at our favorite chicken palmy place every Tuesday. It is buy one, get one free, which is awesome. It does stop occasionally, of course, with restrictions and things like that. But this week we were up and running, the restaurant was open, so we went on in there. Prior to that, I ironed my work uniform, had a shower, washed my hair, obviously washed all my makeup off, um, tidied up the house a little bit, and yeah, I did all of that. Picked up Bronson. <laughs> it's been a big old day. It has been such a big day. I uh, don't obviously leave the house very often on my solo days off, and I well and truly made the most of it. I loved going to TK Maxx. I loved going to Kmart, even more so than TK Maxx. 
and having a little stroll around movie world was really nice just to get some sunshine as well so uh yeah next time you see me hopefully i will be looking a lot more golden glow-esque with a bit of a, a tan because i tell you what i really do not feel myself when i look so pale i have not been this pale in so long i know i've said it so many times but it's just for me it is so weird when i am this white because i usually uh have the good old bondi out of a bottle so yeah it's just even looking at myself in the viewfinder is just bizarre to me uh but anyway I will wrap up today's video. Thank you ever so much for spending the day with me. If you haven't had the chance to hit the subscribe button, you know what to do. Give the video a big thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye.